Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mike Tyson. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Look for him to move forward. You know the flurries are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style as he tries to get inside. Takedown defense could be tested. I mean, that's what opponents are going to be looking to do. They're going to try to take Mike Tyson down. Easier said than done. Don't blink or you'll miss this one. Rips the body shot there. That was a solid punch. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, block that punch. Counter punch landed there by Tyson. Well, this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he steps into the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. All right, so another ringing jab right there, snapping his head back like a Pez dispenser. You can tell he was a former boxer. Yeah, absolutely. You can tell that that is his face. The way that he throws the jab is fundamentally sound. He does it like he was trained to do it as a young boy. And right now, behind that jab, he finds himself ahead. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Tyson gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, a big left hand. Timed with the Superman punch. Oh! He's hurt now. Oh! Keep those hands up for Oh, big left. Tyson gets stung by that leg kick. Back and forth we go. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Great defense. That punch had no chance. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking boot. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, effective use of the jab by Tyson. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start at him. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there, just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, big right hook, but a whip. All right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take many of those hooks to end your night.
20 seconds now remain in the round. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Waning seconds here of this opening round. highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here or what? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force, and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one in the fight. Nice kick, yep. Beautiful right hand over the top. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking tonight. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Beautiful strike. All right, so new round, same narrative as he continues to land that hook, and I'm just not sure how many more his opponent can take. His opponent will not be able to take many. In the previous round, he took a number of the same exact strikes, and now you can see it's starting to truly wear on him. Straight punch. Useful. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar by him. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Nice diversity in the attack. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Nice hook lands. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar tie. I need you to go forward. Well, one oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Nice. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. He's got to move his head. Under two minutes now to go round two. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily and Now watch his neck. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. over giving up that submission. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 
Omar working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Got to be careful here. He's got to be careful here. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Change of the position. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the crowd, and the crowd is loving. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Round three next. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Ready. Ready. Third Good. round underway. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two. Oh, he's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Swing and a big miss by Tyson. Back and forth we go. Oh, good jab to the body by Tyson. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. So he's got that jab working nicely done. Try to establish that jab. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive. Oh! oh, he's on wobbly legs now. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, head kick blocked by Tyson. Keeping him honest with the jab. Useful hook there. Good punch lands. Two minutes and change to go in our third and final round. Uppercut is good. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kay Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has to be very badly against him. 
Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Nice right hand. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if it goes back to it here. Oh! Crowd continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh! Huge left. 45 seconds remain in the round. And now some distance as they pull apart. Lands a nice straight. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needs to... Oh! oh, he is hurting for certain. Oh, big left hook there. 15 seconds. Nice, solid punch. Oh! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Declare the winner by unanimous decision, Iron Mike Tyson! So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the pudding.